we just kind of started talking about kind of a more serious topic, and so we thought that maybe we would sure. share it just because. Jinx. We've been cleaning up the kitchen, um, getting ready for bed, and we just kind of started talking about kind of a s more serious topic, and so we thought that maybe we would sure. share it just because. Jinx. Oh, stop. You owe me a Coke or something. We decided that we would we wanted to talk about it, so we paused it and we're reopening it just because I feel like it's maybe a way a lot of people are feeling. And anyway, so I was telling Derek. So this morning, Derek called me to t um, tell me about something, and it kind of um, put me in a really weird funk. weird funk all day. And it kind of started me down like this cycle of like, of really feeling inadequate. I was like feeling, I was starting to analyze a lot of things in my life, like literally everything, and just feeling like a big giant but, pile of crap. But I didn't call to like- No, you didn't, like you, he was telling me something- About somebody- Something ab <laughs> un unrelated. Unrelated that. But it made. But then, so then. It caused comparison in yes, your life with it. That's exactly. I started. And I knew I shouldn't have. And I just started but feeling really down. I started feeling like I am not a good enough mom. I'm not enough. I'm not a good enough. I'm not good at keeping my house clean. I'm not good at running a business. I'm not good at. Like I felt, I just kept being like, oh yeah, with our YouTube channel, like it's good, but it's just not quite good enough. Uh, businesses that I've ran before, it's like, oh, they're good, but they're just not quite good enough. And I was just feeling like that and just those thoughts were just like literally in every single aspect of my day. And it was hard and it was even like, well, who are my true friends? And who were like, I just was really having a lot of thoughts that weren't super helpful. So Derek and I have been talking about that, that tonight, and you know, obviously, comparison is a huge. That's the that's the fastest way to become miserable. Is comparing yeah. your life to somebody else's. Yeah, because literally, there's no. I mean, I at the end of the day, like you know, today I was like, I, today I was thinking about all these things, and I was kind of like frustrated, but I can still go to bed tonight and be like, yeah, we could do better, but have I been giving? Have, I mean, everyone can do better, right? We can all try harder the next day. But I really feel like I we've been giving Our all. what we could give. That comparison is just such a slippery slope because it was one thought that led to another thought that I'm literally sure just made me feel like it's a tailspin. I'm inadequate in every aspect of my life. And I know that, and, and that's obviously not true. And it's just nice to have, I think, Derek to talk to about that and then obviously remembering that you know comparing is terrible and then just instead so there were some things like with relationships not with Derek but like with friends and stuff that I was kind of feeling down about but then I was thinking you know being like well why doesn't this person do this or do that and then I thought but what am I doing those things that I would want someone to do for me so it was also a good reminder like if you're feeling frustrated about certain things like before you start to look at what other people are are or aren't what, what you aren't expect doing. from them <clears throat> yeah be like look put that back on myself and say how can i expect someone to do that for me if i'm not doing that for them because i think sometimes you know you it's easy like even as an adult like a hundred percent i ha i feel left out sometimes of certain situations and it's like well then, but what did I, when's the last time I did the inviting? You know, am I feeling left, I'm feeling left out, but I'm just sitting here waiting for someone to invite me. Like if I want, yeah. then where was my role in taking action? So I don't know, I feel obviously much better and I, it was just kind of how the day was going and everything's fine and whatever. But I just think that when we see ourselves kind of going down these paths of, negativity we really just need to stop and like break the cycle because yeah. it can downward spiral really yeah. fast just learning those healthy habits and behaviors because we were talking about this like okay i'm having these feelings so what does a teenager feel yeah what are our kids what gonna are kids feel gonna... and i'm an adult that i can like rationalize this and, and talk can't. through it 
I just really want to be open and talking about how I can move forward through things and what I feel like is helpful for me so that if other people are feeling these wit feeling any of these feelings to know that for one you're not alone right if other people, when yeah they when are they obviously are. but that you're not alone we all feel inadequate at times and that's okay but just don't stay in that place you know that's the choice whether you decide to move on or, or stick in that spot you know a lot of people look at us as if as if we've got it all figured out as if we're perfect and and that couldn't be further from the truth we're doing the very best that we can every single day, but there's no question there are times where we have our own self-doubts, we have our own conflicts in our, in our, in our aptitude or, or capabilities or mm. just anything in life. And, and that's the moment, like, it's funny because the, they say that the biggest battle in anyone's life is that 12 inches between their, their, their like head and their heart. Like in between your, oh, Their here. head and their heart. Yeah. And because our heart is full of passion, it's full of something that we want to go out and do and prove for ourselves for whatever reason. But then our brain is trying to keep us safe and trying to tell us, no, yeah. other people are better. Other people are more adequate. And that, and that comes back to the comparison situation that you're mm -hmm. talking about. And that's the last thing that we can should ever do is compare our worst to somebody else's best. But we all do it. We're yeah. all victims. I think it's just a human nature thing. It's a thing. human thing. But that's why I'm saying, like, you know, when you get start going down this path, that you cycle. just, just got to stop it. And then, you know, whether it's... And then in your post, sorry, but in your post that you, on Instagram like a week ago... Oh, I was like, I feel like I need to be more grateful. You, you said to post, you, you put like five things yeah. that you're grateful for. Yeah. The second that you think that somebody else has it better or that you're missing out on something, stop focusing on that and focus on, okay, wait, hold on, time out. What do I have? Mm -hmm. What am I thankful for? If I forget about everything else, what in my life am I thankful for? And then focus on those things. The only way to get more out of life, the things that, that we want, is to be thankful for what we already have. How, yeah. how can we possibly expect to get more, more out of life when you cannot even get if you're not thankful for what, what you already you have, have? For sure. But it's okay, though. That's It's okay to to feel fault to f in fact that's that's it creates <coughs> it creates reflection <coughs> we have to think about ourselves our lives and what can we do better yeah. to improve because i was thinking about those things okay so i'm saying you know i was feeling inadequate in some things and then then you know I, you also have to be honest with yourself because i was thinking yeah. like are there some things that i could be better at sure yeah so tomorrow i'm going to try again and there you know like I have some goals that I feel like at this time of year, you kind of like, you start to feel like there's not enough. Oh, the year's almost over. Just forget about just, what I wanted. To, you, I know it sounds bad, but it's true. Cause you're kind of just you're like, you're already writing I'm off just the rest gonna, of the you year. You are, you're just kind of like, uh, whatever. Like, I'm just going to wait till January oh to start. I should, Cause we, I, I'm just going to wait till January strong. to start going to the gym now or whatever. Yeah. I'm just going to. Like I've, you know, been but trying to figure out this. that's because I'm so busy at work that well, you, we yeah. can't go to the yeah. gym right now. But I'm, I was just using that as an example, or even just like with this business stuff that I'm trying to figure out. It's like, at this point, I'm kind of being like, it's fine. I'll just figure it out at the beginning of the year. But like every day is your chance to keep yeah. going for your goals. And I just think that there's no sense in writing off the year already and just being The year like, or today. You yeah, know, that is true. Because don't even wish for tomorrow at the expense yeah. of today. Like that's all you have is today. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And today, today, like tomorrow, depends on today. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully this, our kind of venting, <laughs> talking through this together, like whatever, it's is hard. helpful to somebody. Um, life is confusing, and you just sometimes don't know why you feel the things you feel. It's okay, and I'm just ready to stop that and you know try again tomorrow i think it's okay to feel you know you talk about your feelings i think it's important to address what you feel yeah and and to understand it i think it's important i i it was some old african adage of some sort that said let it hurt let it bleed and then let it go yeah essentially yeah, like because that. you can't dwell on on all of the issues and the problems that you have. It's like, okay, I have these problems, but how are we going to fix them? What are we going to do next and move forward with those things? And it's okay to hurt. Like, that's human. You don't just want to put a band-aid over it because it's, it's 
it's going to keep bleeding, but you've got to address it, accept it, and figure out a way. Sometimes it's only when you hit rock bottom that you can pick yourself back up, you know? For sure. But I'm just, I don't think that these little things like in the day to day are like these rock bottom no. things. I think they're just like But to natural. some people they might feel like that. Yeah, but I'm just they saying. They might feel I'm, like the world is against yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. But it's I don't not. even feel like that's necessarily rock bottom. I just feel like these thought processes are just part of being human of life, you know? Yeah. And just realizing that everybody like, goes through. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Anyway. I mean, we didn't solve the world's problems, but I'm going to bed feeling a little bit better. And it's nice to have someone to talk to. Just talking through things is really helpful. And it's like sometimes, sometimes just saying something out loud kind of just Helps. gets the feeling like, instead of just, I don't know, it's just festering. It's like, okay, I just said it and now I'm good. This is the end of the video. So we don't know how many people are actually going to see this part, but it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to not have to pretend like you've got everything figured out and that you're perfect, um, that you're human. And, and to, to confide in somebody who has your best interest mm -hmm. at heart and that can help lift you up, you know, and lift each other up in the process. Yeah. It's yeah. important for sure. Anyway, okay, well, thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. Thanks for letting us talk to you. And this is... You guys are our therapy session, so here's my $50. Are they going to bill us? I, yeah, they should bill we us. We don't have any money right now. We, can't, we, ha we just bought a new dishwasher. We have to replace our whole floor. I know. It's, it's Christmas. Fine. I know. It's fine. Okay. Thanks, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.